So we talk almost exclusively on this channel about finding the right mattress for you so you can get a great night's sleep. But what about after you wake up? Well, if you're anything like me, one of the first things you do in your morning routine is make yourself a nice fresh cup of coffee. Now, I'm fairly fussy about my coffee. I tend to drink it black with no cream or sugar. And fortunately enough for me, there are many local coffee roasters that I like to frequent to get some fresh beans. But having fresh beans also means grinding them at home, which is exactly why we're gonna be talking about the Ode Coffee Grinder, this guy right here, from the brand Fellow. Now, Fellow is a brand that is based out of San Francisco and they specialize in many coffee-related products, including kettles, pour-over kits, French presses, mugs, and this particular grinder. In the past, I was using a cheap hand grinder I bought off of Amazon because I preferred the quality and consistency of the grind I got from it as opposed to a electric one that uses blades that you might be using right now. The hand grinder actually worked quite well, but it is a bit more labor intensive, obviously, than using something electric. And you can't really tell what kind of grind setting you're using because it just has a twist knob at the bottom so you're virtually just guessing. So after I got a lot of targeted Instagram ads for this thing, I decided to give it a shot and treat myself to it. And I've been using it for several months now. And if you want to level up your home barista game, you should keep watching. I am Owen from CNET Home, where we're gonna be specializing in a lot of new products that you might be using around your home, like this coffee grinder. So make sure you hit subscribe and like this video if you found it all helpful or interesting, we'd really appreciate it. So upon unboxing this thing, my initial impression was that it is really solidly built. It weighs about 10 pounds and it's fairly large as you can see, but I don't think it's so large that it's gonna be obtrusive on your countertop. And this thing is definitely designed to sit on your countertop and stay there. I would not want to try and put this away in a cupboard after every single use. So you kind of have to like the way it looks if you're gonna buy this thing. Me personally, I think this thing looks very modern and sleek and I think it looks great in my kitchen. Obviously aesthetics are pretty subjective, but I think most people would agree with me here. Since I started using this grinder, it has not left my countertop. They actually have it now in a matte white version. I have the matte black, I think it looks great, but you might prefer the white and who knows, they might be adding more colors in the future. Looks aside, probably the biggest selling point of this grinder is it's 31 different grind settings. It has a nice guide on the underside of the lid to help you figure out which course and setting you're gonna to wanna to use for different types of brewing methods. It might take you a bit of experimentation to figure out which one is gonna work best for you, which kind of beans you use, and what kind of brewing methods you use the most. Me personally, French press is my go-to, and I have found that setting eight makes a perfect French press. But because it has so many grind settings, this thing is really only meant for somebody who has multiple ways of brewing coffee at home or wants to. So if you're the kind of person who just has a drip machine at home and you're not really interested in other brewing methods like pour overs or French presses or aero presses, then this thing is probably gonna be a bit too much for you. But for someone like me, having 31 grind settings is really nice. On the subject of espresso, Fellow explicitly says on their website that this thing is not designed to grind beans fine enough for espresso machines. However, I've found that at setting one, I can actually use it in my at-home espresso machine. Your mileage might vary on this if super high quality shots of espresso are your main coffee brewing method then you might want to look at something else because again it does say on their website this is not for espresso but i have found it works decently well so if you are making coffee at home with multiple brewing methods having an adjustable and consistent grind is super important if you're making a french press you generally want it to be a bit coarser because it's an immersion brewing method and you can actually wind up with some sediment in your coffee if you grind it too fine. But if I'm making myself a pour over, I'm gonna to wanna to grind my beans a bit finer just to help absorb more flavor from those beans. And with my hand grinder, it was really easy to maybe go too fine on the setting and have a bit muddy of a French press. So this thing checks two very big boxes for me. It looks great in my kitchen and it has so many different available grind settings and each one of those grind settings are super consistent. They look pretty much the exact same every single time you use it. 
But another huge deciding factor, if you're interested in this thing, is gonna be the overall ease of use. And I think it checks that box as well. To grind fresh beans, all you do is open the lid, fill up the grind hopper, close the lid, make sure the magnetic catch is in the right position, hit the button, and then in about 15 seconds, you have fresh ground coffee beans. I love the fact that the grind catch is magnetic because there's virtually no chance that you're gonna have it in the wrong spot and spill coffee grinds all over your countertop. And this thing is also surprisingly quiet. I don't have a ton of experience using high-end coffee grinders like this, but from what I can tell, this thing is really quiet. It probably will not wake up your roommates if you have them. My only real gripe with the Ode coffee grinder is that at least for me, after several uses, I do find some grinds have spilled over onto the machine itself and onto my countertop. They do have a handy little grind knocker that helps mitigate this. It's easy enough to clean, so it's not a huge deal, but it's just not really what I expected. In the research I have done, I have discovered that really high-end coffee appliances tend to be pretty expensive, and unfortunately, the Ode Grinder is no exception. I actually managed to snag this thing on sale, but normally it's gonna cost you around 300 bucks, which definitely isn't cheap. However, I have found this thing to be more of an investment. Since it's so easy to use and I can use so many different brewing methods, I have found myself going out to coffee shops a lot less since I bought this thing. I haven't been keeping super close track of my coffee shop spending before and after, but I would wager that I'll break even on this thing in a couple of months. Again, I do wanna reiterate that if you are someone who only really uses one method of brewing coffee at home, this thing is probably gonna be more than you need. You have to be someone like me who maybe one morning wants to make a pour over, the other morning wants to make a French press, and maybe enjoys an afternoon shot of espresso. Overall, my experience with the Ode grinder has been pretty fantastic. For me, the results of having a nice cup of coffee in the morning is equally as important as the process. I find it highly enjoyable. So what are your thoughts on the Ode coffee grinder? Write us down below in the comments. We'd love to get your thoughts. And if you have any other products you'd love us to take a look at, especially coffee related products, put them down there as well and we might have to check them out. And also, what is your preferred method of making coffee at home? Again, mine is a French press, but there are so many different ways that make some really nice coffee, so let us know. Again, I'm Owen with CNET. Subscribe to the channel for more. We are gonna be doing a lot of new stuff on this channel, so you're gonna to wanna to check it out. But that's enough for me. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.